Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking off the vibration damper and trying to isolate or at least get a better idea of where this uh, oil leak is coming from around here. So my main concern uh, is lower and upper oil pan are not really a big deal. So there's the block, there's the bed plate here. Let's see if you can see the Block, bed plate, upper oil pan, lower oil pan. Lower oil pan is nothing, it's just an RTV seal. There's nothing else really to it, just a couple bolts, it'll come off. Upper oil pan, obviously there's quite a few other items that have to come off uh, in order to get to it. There's coolant hose, yada yada. But I do, I suspect I got an oil leak here because there's some fresh oil right there. Um, and kind of, it's all caked around here. What I'm a little worried about though, which is a little bit more of an involved task, also requires replacing a lot of bolts, is the uh, bed plate, which is essentially one girdle, which holds all the uh, the main bearing, the lower main bearing caps. Uh, it kind of replaces uh, traditional two or four bolt main caps. It allows just a nice stiffness of the whole deal. Um, looks like there's fresh oil between this interface. It looks like there's a main oil gallery running around here. And you kind of see some more oil right there. It's a little tough to say, but there's nothing, uh, nothing coming down from the top area. I mean, this is leaking, but there's no oil mitigation or migration elsewhere. Just kind of all, it's all right at the interface, I, I believe. So I got it there. And also you can see it here. My only other hope is that either the front main seal or just whatever's leaking here is just getting whipped up by the vibration damper. Um, Cause you can see at the sides, this is actually all bone dry. Everything here is nice and dry. Oh shit. Same thing over on this side. It is all dry back here. Both the lower oil pan, or upper oil pan and the bed plate are dry. And also, to replace this upper uh, oil pan seal, you do have to take off pretty much all this stuff. The, the back flywheel, the back timing cover, drive plate. Just very involved process just to replace some seals. It's uh, kind of a pain, but it's just bolts. Everything's out of the vehicle, so it's not uh, too hard of a job now. It's just the, the fact all these bolts, bolts are also torqued to yield. So I gotta spend even more money just replacing a couple bolts. All right, let's get started with this. So I don't know if you can see, but it looks like there's uh, there's actually some fluid here, which is oil. Uh, what is very hard to see is there is a pool of oil behind there. So there may be, let's see here. I may be leaking. It's, it's definitely difficult to tell where the origination of the leak is. Uh, I did replace the oil uh, oil filter housing O-ring. Genuine part. I don't know if that just didn't seal right. Because I'm pretty sure I did mop up this oil. If I'm not mistaken. But there's clearly oil mitigating down through that drain hole. And that being said then, is it whipping around and just throwing all the oil down here and it's leaking? I don't know. The, oil, the lower oil pan is not a big deal. I'm going to do that. Um, still want to degrease everything. Did a bit of light degreasing on the engine. Some steam cleaning. Cleaned it up a little bit. 
um, and I'm going to go ahead remove the throttle body manifold, the intake manifold, uh, let's see, the lines got to come off, uh, the fuel lines have to come off for that, uh, because I do want to inspect what's going on with the oil filter housing, I suspect it's leaking out over there. Uh, in the meantime though, I'm going to pull off the spark plugs, uh, the ignition coil, sorry, and we're going to peer inside and see how much oil we've collected uh, since about, I don't know, 10,000 miles or so. So, look at that. Covered in oil. There's just so many oil leaks on this, I don't even know where, where anything originates from anymore. Get this guy off properly, this upper carrier, fuel pumps have to come off, and then the timing drive also has to come off. I'm going to remove the phasers from here as well, and uh, or the, uh, the oil control valves for the phasers. Uh, put a new o-ring on those guys. Mop some of this slop up. Camshafts look all right though. No major scoring or uh, pitting. No asperity contact. Hard part is actually getting all that oil out of there. I gotta put a little oil uh, sucking tube for oil extraction into there. Definitely gonna clean all this super, super well. Greasy. Then remove the crossover fuel line. So this guy is a three stage Venturi separation system. Uh, there's a little diaphragm that works by uh, manifold vacuum. The less manifold vacuum there is, the more this, um, there's a piston in here that slides back exposing more of these Venturi tubes. So the theory is air, foul air enters through here and gets separated. Uh, the oil gets separated by a, um, what do you call that? Centripetal force gets slung out of the airstream and then clean air. Uh, passes through into here into your intake manifold and then the foul oil is supposed to drain down through here uh, however this system sucks and in, uh, in theory it's great in reality it sucks so that's where you get all the carbon build up inside the manifold Now we're going to remove the oil filter housing because the uh, I suspect one of these o-rings back here is also leaking. When I took off this oil filter housing, all of the oil that was still in it pooled in the valley. So as I uh, previous video showed, it's got some drains in here. So they're coming down through the front of the block. And uh, what most people experience, and honestly, I may not even have any other leaks here. Um, everything could very well be just from the oil filter housing. It, uh, here's the path that it takes. So you see it comes out through here, down the side. And then I, as you have the damper, which pretty much takes up most of this area, spinning around, 
it's just slinging the oil everywhere. It takes it down around, uh, puts it all onto this corner seam, which I thought maybe, you know, I got a leak between the bed plate and the top of the block. I uh, suspect that I have a leak at the upper oil pan to the lower block there. Um, it, honestly, it very well could be this, um, but it is, I don't know, it's about another like $20, $30 worth of bolts. And uh, yeah, it's going to take some time, but we'll be able to take all of this off just in case, replace a couple seals and, uh, you know, just uh, peace of mind while it's already out.